What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use your Rapid Fire PS5 DualSense controller. Now I noticed that there's not really a lot of information on this currently at the moment, so I figured this is a perfect opportunity to be able to teach you guys exactly how to use it. So not only is this mod chip a Rapid Fire mod, it's actually also a reprogrammable back button mod chip as well. So with that said, I'm going to actually show you how to do that first before anything else. So to enter into your back button programming mode on your DualSense controller, all you actually have to do is just hold down all your top buttons on the top of the controller. Once you do that, that for around eight seconds your microphone button is going to turn to a whitish bluish color that's how you know that you're in program mode now that we are in program mode all you essentially have to do is just hold down one of your back buttons that you want to reprogram once you hold that down don't let go you just want to tap the button that you want to assign that button to now that both of your back buttons are programmed we have to save it by clicking l3 and then you'll notice that your microphone button is going to turn a different color and that means everything's saved so now I'm just going to test the back button just to show you guys exactly what it's like. As you can see, my left button is X and my right button is circle. Right now I have it actually set up to tactical mode. Now for this next part, I'm going to be showing you how to activate your rapid fire mod on your DualSense controller. But first, I just want to show you guys exactly what it's like with the M16 with no rapid fire on. So as you can see, you pull it down once. You're just going to do your quick burst with this assault rifle. And then in order to fire again, you obviously have to let go of the trigger and then go back down. But now if you want to activate rapid fire, all you have to do is just simply tap the left arrow button on the D-pad two times really fast. And then you'll start to notice that your microphone light is going to start flashing green. That means rapid fire is now activated. So now you can take a look and see how it fires now. As you can see here, you just have to hold down your trigger and it's going to constantly keep firing for you automatically. Now, personally, I really like this rapid fire mod with the semi-automatic assault rifle, the DMR, because the DMR is, a, is really powerful. And then once you activate rapid fire, it's pretty much unstoppable. And then if you want to simply deactivate your rapid fire mod, you just have to quickly double tap the left arrow again. And then you'll notice your green light is going to stop flash. Now, next on the list, I'm going to show you how to turn on burst fire on your rapid fire controller. So essentially, all you have to do is just hold down the left arrow and then tap square. Once you do that, burst mode is now activated. So as soon as you pull down your trigger, it's going to automatically shoot your rifle or whatever gun you're using two times. Now I'm simply going to show you how to activate drop shot. Now, this is extremely useful. But all you have to do is hold down your left arrow again and then just simply tap circle. As soon as you start pulling down your trigger, your, your character is essentially going to start dropping down to the ground so that your enemy won't have the opportunity to be able to kill you. Next, we have another mode called jump shot. It's essentially the same thing as drop, but you're doing the opposite. You're just jumping. So you just hold down like your left arrow again and then tap on X. And the final mod that I'm going to show you real quick is just the auto run mode. So this mode is actually pretty useful if you just want to automatically start sprinting so you don't have to push down on L3. So to activate that, you simply have to hold down the up arrow and then tap L3. Now the beauty of this rapid fire mod chip is that you can actually activate multiple modes all at the same time. So you can essentially have drop shot on while rapid fire is on at the same time, which is very convenient. So moving away from all the modes, I just want to show you quick how to deactivate everything. It's very simple. All you have to do is hold down L3 and R3 all at the same time and then simply tap the left arrow and that just deactivates all your modes. Now, if you're interested in seeing any other modes, just go ahead and click on that PDF download down below and you can essentially look at each and every single mode that this rapid fire mod chip offers. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the next part of this video. It's essentially just all the whole gameplay that I compiled all together of all the best moments that I was having fun with the uh, with this rapid fire mod controller. And let me know what you think. Don't forget to like the video I'm subscribed. Bravo. Oh,
Station's locked down. Bitch. Losing Charlie. Where's Charlie? Losing him. Enemy spy plane. Positive on Simtex. Wasted. 